Good morning, Lopez. Sorry, I did not vlog the days after the last vlog. But that is because I randomly got sick like the other day. The other, other day, but it only lasted for two days. Which is weird, but that's fine. But, um, yeah. Since I had enough time left of the morning to film a vlog, I decided why not film a vlog. But literally, the weirdest thing happened to me from Likey. Like, I literally tried posting a video on there, and it didn't post, so I reloaded it app, and I had to delete that video, which saved to my camera roll. Or like my um photos and then I went and made another video and that did not post so I had to delete that from my photos because it was saved and then I post another video it saved I deleted it from both the app and my photos and then I uploaded I was trying to upload a video again for the third or fourth time and it was taking so long so I decided to put my um Wi-Fi on and it posted like what? Like all the other times I posted Like all the other times I posted a video on there i didn't use a wi-fi and it posted perfectly fine so why now is it that it's not posting and then i told book all about this and then likey sent me a notification on the app saying that something got copyrighted like what in the world is happening. Also, these are kebab sticks because my sister made kebabs last night that I did not get to have one. But anyway, was it because it got copyrighted or was it because I did not have my Wi Fi on or both? I do not know. But anyway, it doesn't matter now because my video posted finally. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, back to whatever shenanigans I'm going to do today. Ooh, that's hot. Yesterday I made me some noodles and I couldn't throw them with the trash can because the trash can was all the way in the living room for whatever reason, but now it's back here right there next to the stove yes our kitchen is a bit like weird around here a weird thought that i always seem to have it's like what if i'm going out with my friends or like my family or just my sister or maybe even both my sisters and i'm just like doing my thing and I'm just like thinking, like, what if a fan just comes up to me and mentions my YouTube channel and asks to take a selfie with them? And I would obviously say yes, because I don't want to be like one of those YouTubers who like... And obviously those YouTubers are nice enough to tell them that they're like having a bad day or something and can't take a photo of them. And at least they say them nicely, which is good. But like, I'm going to be one of those YouTubers who, if they do have... And encounter whether I'm having a bad day or a good day or a very weird and strange day. No matter what kind of day it is, I'm always gonna take a picture with a fan because, like, you're probably never gonna have an opportunity to take a picture with that fan again unless some weird miracle happens to you that you end up meeting that fan again. Which would be hilarious. And I need a fork, and there is one over here. Give me a fork, forky. 
from Toy Story. I actually haven't watched the new Toy Story. I've only I've watched the other four Toy Stories. Just saying. Distract people. I'm focusing, I'm focusing. Okay, I'm no longer focusing on that. A little bit. You guys already know how my news. I've already made a video about that. And the reason why I made the video is because I I don't want anyone to go on ahead and ask. So I just decided to go on ahead and make a video before anyone could ask. Not that anyone would ask. If these birds don't shut it up, I will go out there and find them and murder them. But not literally, but figuratively. And my noodles are done and completed. Bro, tell me why, like, okay, so last year I found this video of, like, someone's ex hugging them. And it said that they slapped them after, like, before they, like, I think they, before they broke up. And they just said, they didn't mention how bad the slap was. They just said that the ex slapped them before, like, they probably broke up. And they just had, like, a bunch of hashtags on it. On the video. With a bunch of, like, abused things. And I made the comment last year saying something along the lines of, it was just a slap. It's not that serious. And then last year, people were going all crazy over it. And the creator replied to me saying that I need to get help or I need to get better or something like that. And in my head, I was like, what does she mean? And then recently this year, people continuously tell, telling me stuff which I can't remember what they were because I deleted the comment because of all the hate I got. And I kept replying to them that it was yes, not last like yesterday, but last year. And they didn't listen to me and they continued to hate on me. And then a comment, not a comment, but a video I made last year that is now pinned because it got over a thousand years which thank you for that but that's besides the point um people kept telling me and saying how like i support or promote domestic abuse which is not true i've never supported that kind of thing and never will and i've never supported it or promoted it in any way, shape, or form. Like, you guys have probably, I don't know, since like 2018, because that's when I started to vlog. Because I started my first vlog on July 5th, 2018. I also made a vlog in 2019. And also, those vlogs... <laughs> Those videos are still up on some old YouTube channels and you guys can actually go watch it. But anyway, that is besides the point of what I'm saying. And then like, on that same video, someone said pathetic looks, looks so pretty on me. Like, what? That, that should not be a compliment and is not a compliment and patheticness is not a good thing it should not be put in a light or cute or any way kind of thing like what then don't worry i deleted them comment and then you guys know how when you guys know when like the com a comment i guess doesn't get approved or like you didn't get a notification and now you have to go to your Google comments 
Leo comments. That's what happened. I literally clicked on it, and one and the same person commented twice saying, "Stop promoting the Mexico videos so like a copying emojis." But I can't do the copying because I'm holding my phone for a hand and doing hand gestures with the other one. And I was like, "What? I do not promote the Mexico like videos and never have." Like what? And then the same person commented again, saying why I'm deleting the comments. Like, you're hating on me. You're literally hating on me. Why would I not delete the comments? But uh, at least they didn't say that it was a mess when we did delete hate comments. They were just asking me why I was deleting them. And they also asked what I was trying to hide. Like, I'm not trying to hide anything. I'm just deleting comments because they're literally hating on me. And the reason why I'm saying at least he didn't say it was embarrassing is because, like, one time I got another hate comment on another video of mine, which is, the comments obviously deleted. And they were hating on me, and I deleted it. And they literally had the audacity to comment saying that it was embarrassing for me to delete, delete a hate comment. Like, you're hating on me. You're leaving things that, would, that you would think would make me... I think I'm a bad person when I'm not. Like, what? Are these people even okay? And also, other people were like commenting on that same video about how I, about how I promote or am promoting domestic abuse when I never had. But like, literally, the creator of that video literally did not say how bad the abuse is. Like, if you're going to make a video about being slapped, at least tell us how bad the slap was. Because, like, not everyone's automatically going to think that you got in really badly abused, even if you put um, hashtags about being abused. No one is, so no one's going to know that you've gotten abused. Like... I don't know how bad the slap was, and it's a creator's fault for not telling me, or not telling the whole world, actually, and not me personally. Although, I should have probably just asked how bad the slap was, instead of just saying, wasn't that serious, and stuff like that. But, like, all those comments are now deleted. I was going to say something else, but I forgot. I think I'm having a brain fart. Oh, yeah. oh my god. I'm literally trying to remember what I was going to say. I don't think it's what, um, what I was going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway just to let you know. On my page account that I have of Addison Ray. It's called Beach Addy. For those who are wondering. Um I saw a video of like someone talking about a six of five auto bank so I was like I'm never watching it and people have gone crazy that I haven't seen it. And some and I told someone someone who applied to me Someone who replied to me said like something online, so what or something like that. And I was like, "Why are you so shocked?" And he's and they and they said they weren't shocked, but like I'm pretty sure they were lying. Cause if you hear someone saying that they never watch a show that you watch, then obviously you're gonna end up being shocked, cause you would think the whole world watched that show. So I'm not thing is I think I think I still have Doritos in my in them because like I literally had Doritos last night and I still have the bag right here. I sold it from the living room. Can anyone do this with with that eye on? Because I can only do it with one anyway. Um, I'm trying to remember what I was gonna say. Oh my God, this is the biggest brain fart ever. I think we 
something about Twitter. I think. Oh, my God. oh yeah, I had three videos on my fan page account that was still flopping, and literally I told them that if they didn't build them and get them over 100 views, then I would switch my idol and my coloring. And if they got over 100 views, then I wouldn't switch. And so it was taking too long to for them to like view them over 100 views. And so I literally had to go on to my main Facebook video account. Logan's live to literally view those videos a hundred times and then I told them that since that since those three videos um got over 100 videos I'm not gonna switch items or color me and I was seeing parentheses put that I viewed them on my main Facebook app Yeah. Also, I'm I haven't wore this in a while, and I'm wearing it again. I haven't seen this boo in a while. I don't know why I just come in necklace boo. Also, it looks very like rusty, crusty, messy, and dusty. I don't remember if this is how it looked when I first got it, and if y'all guys remember how it looked when I first got it or when I first saw it. Then please tell me how you can make it shiny and pretty again. Also, that says 23, because I graduated that year, 2023. That's year, June 2nd, and that is coming up. Once it's June 2nd, I've been out of school officially for a year. That is crazy. Oh, yeah, literally, someone on... Twitter called me a little girl and I asked him who was calling me a little girl and he told me that I definitely was not six feet and I literally told them that just because I'm under six feet doesn't mean I'm a little girl and then he said well um, I was like bye bye boy bye no I just said bye was an exclamation mark because like literally just because i'm 411 4 feet 11 inches doesn't mean i'm automatically a little girl i may probably look like one and maybe well not i probably sound like i'm older but not look like i'm older because a lot of people, like, a lot of times on, like, most of my fan page accounts I've ever owned, every time I would mention how old I am, like, I would say I was born in 2005 or I'm 18, people would have the audacity to say I'm faking my age. Like, what? And I know a lot of people do fake the age. It's again, it's like certain apps and stuff they should not be in, whether it's bad or good. But like, I'm not the type of person to fake my age. And he would continuously say that I'm faking it when I'm clearly not. Like, you don't know me like that. You don't personally know me, so how would you know I'm faking my age? Like, people are just like so annoying. Like, I literally cannot. Also, I'm also the type of person who would, like, have a fan page and have it for a while. And then either it will just randomly vanish out of thin air. Or, like, I quit it without anyone knowing. And then I would stop making fan page for a while and then I would miss it and I go straight back to doing it to being a fan page and then it would happen over and over and over and over again so now I have like thousands of fan page accounts I've ever made 
And I think the summer, when the summer is over, after the summer's over, I'm gonna stop being a fan page and I'm gonna feel good. And also, Jenna Davis just posted on YouTube a YouTube short. Anyway, also I checked my weather app and it said it was not gonna be sunny until like 5 p.m. And like, in between it's gonna like be cloudy and sunny. Right now it's just cloudy. It's gonna be cloudy then and sunny. And then sunny, but like I was looking outside a little bit ago before I started filming this. And it was like sort of sunny. But now it's no longer that sort of sunny. I don't know if you can tell from here, but yeah. And like, I don't know if I told you guys this before, but if not, then I'm gonna tell you guys now. But literally, my ex best friends, I, I, I need to start, I need to literally, I'm literally trying to start saying ex friends of ex best friends because it's too many words. But my ex friends literally messaged me three times saying, saying something about like not having friends or something like that and someone else said who is this and they said i think either your mom your mom or your dad something like that and i just completely ignored it got rid of the cheesy because i'm not dealing with that shitty drama and the shitty people anymore because like that is just too much but anyway, I think that's all the updates I have for you guys. And I think I'm just going to end this so I can post this, a YouTube short, and then eat my needle. That's a low one. But anyway, that is all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like, subscribe with the bell on. Comment the more what you think of this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I love you all so much. Bye, Bobas.